there is evidence. It has a certain amount of noise in it. Your expertise involves uh, compiling evidence of different kinds, uh, discovering the signal within it, dealing with noisy data sets, and reaching a conclusion about patient well-being and potentially uh, epidemiological effect of a given treatment. What you are seeing with respect to the body of evidence that applies to and its utility both as a treatment and a prophylactic uh, for COVID, how is that resulting in a, is that informing policy with respect to the use of in a way that is familiar to you or is there something unusual going on here? No, it's really very unusual. Um, I've never seen such a huge body of evidence being ignored. Many of the recommendations that are made on, um, you know, in the guideline panels that I've been involved with are based on far less evidence, recommendations in favor. Sometimes it's possible for there to be no clear evidence of effect even, but because an intervention is highly acceptable, desirable, and feasible, um, a decision might be made uh, in favor of it. So, um, so it's very unusual for such a huge body of evidence to be ignored and to be calling for more large trials. To support us, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and consider writing a comment. And because 1984 has captured 2021, click the link in the description to see the full clip on Odyssey.